What are the different types of cloud computing? To begin with, let's categorize cloud computing in the form of who owns it. Number one, we have a public cloud. Two, we have a private cloud. And number three, we have a hybrid cloud. To help you understand this easily, let me give you an analogy to help you understand. The analogy is about using cab service or transport service. If you want to use a cab, you could book an Uber or any other cab aggregator that is available, which is a public service. Which means any person who wants to use an Uber car can just book it and use it. Similarly, public cloud is something anybody can access. The most popular one, of course, being Amazon, but many companies offer public cloud service. The simple nature of public cloud is anybody can make a request and use resources on the public cloud. Secondly, we have private cloud. Private cloud is where an organization has set up a private cloud within their enterprise. Why do that? Typically, in a large enterprise, there are many business units, many departments within them. And generally, there is a budget involved in which each department or each business unit procures hardware, software, and then uses them. But when it becomes a very large organization, there is quite an opportunity that the resources are not well utilized. So what happens here is the organization sets up their own private cloud where they buy the infrastructure, they buy the software and set up the required software images and people within the organization could use it. It's as simple as telling your company has a cab service which only the employees of that organization can use. This is not Uber because Uber anybody can go and use. In a public cloud, a public vendor like Amazon or Oracle or Microsoft have invested in the hardware and software and anybody can consume it. Whereas in a private cloud, only users within the organization, within the enterprise can consume resources. How does it help? Take the case if the company wanted to provide transport facility for every employee and the company gave a car to each individual, that's a lot of investment. Instead, the company decides, I'm going to create a carpool, anybody can use it, then we can optimally size the carpool depending on the utilization. If every employee has got their own car, there's a lot of underutilization of resources, right? Same way, when every department buys their own hardware, software, there is a high likelihood there is a lot of underutilization of resources. Hence, the organization decides to set up their own private cloud. They buy a centralized hardware pool, software pool, and users, depending on their need, use it. And typically, they are metered. The users are metered and they pay for what they use. That's at a very high level, what is a private cloud. Thirdly, hybrid cloud. When two enterprises come together, share the infrastructure investment cost and employees from both organizations can use these resources, hybrid cloud is formed. But what is common to all this? The commonality is that when it comes to cloud, it is generally accessible from anywhere wherein you just need network access. You can make requests just by a few clicks. If you wanted a new instance of, let's say an Oracle database, Earlier on, you had to procure the hardware, you had to procure the software, you had to get it installed a few weeks or a couple of months before you got it ready. Today, on cloud, be it public cloud, private cloud or hybrid cloud, pre-built virtualized images are already in place and in just a few clicks, you get your instance ready with the database or any other application or any other software that you're looking for. That's the simplicity of cloud and depending on who owns is where this categorization is made. In a public cloud, the vendor owns all the hardware. 
in a private cloud the organization which is implementing it owns the infrastructure and finally in a hybrid cloud two or more organizations come together for a common benefit they invest together and set up a hybrid cloud in all these cases whoever is consuming it in a public cloud anybody could consume it in a private cloud only the users within the organization or employees of the organization would consume it and in hybrid cloud employees within the organization can consume it they are always metered and they pay for what they use that's about ownership models in cloud